Hey guys, welcome to this week's quick tip video. I hope you guys are really enjoying these videos because it does take quite a bit of an effort to put them together. But again, I really want to put these videos together to basically benefit you guys and just give you guys little quick tips that you guys can use. Um, and these are tips that you guys can also implement into your own personal um, video workflow. So one of the things I really want to talk about is tripods. Tripods are key. I can't stress the importance of having good steady video. Now the tripod that I've got here is the Manfro Five, no, 055. Um, good tripod. I picked this tripod up second hand, hard to believe. I picked it up for £120. These tripods retail between 200 to 300 and um, there's two types there's a carbon fiber one and there's a normal steel one i've got a steel one a carbon fiber one it, it is pretty pricey but it's really lightweight now i bought this tripod for traveling purposes and um, as you guys know i do travel quite a bit and i have to carry some of my gear so carrying my big tripod that i'm using now on this camera is not ideal i'd rather leave this at home or when i'm doing like i'm going to a studio and i get i'll bring this tripod with me but for traveling street stuff this is a perfect tripod I bought the tripod in particular because it allows me to basically go quite wide. So from this, I can basically go really quite wide. So you can see that's basically quite wide out. And um, again, I could do this to the other leg, go quite wide, and there, and then on the same thing with the other leg, boom, quite wide. So having a full, so these are really good if you want to do really, really low shots. And um, another good thing why I bought this tripod, let's just lock that back in place. In place. Boom, is the column. So this column comes up, and a good thing about this, this goes up and it goes vertically as well. Fantastic tripod. This is this is a this is one of these tripods that it is so diverse, you can do so much things with the tripod. Again, I can clip clap my camera to it and do vertical video if I really want to. Again, but I don't really do that. I tend to do this for overhead shots. So for example, I have my table, I have my camera, and it's facing down on the tables, so I can get some really nice overhead shots. Um, using this tripod so fantastic tripod again I can basically swing that back into place close that and um, it's got a little screw so lock that back in place and good to go again it's got these latches which slip slip and it goes quite out and it is quite a tall tripod to be fair that back and it's done so fantastic tripod and um, I can't stress the importance of having a really good tripod system this doesn't come with um with a head so normally you would have like a head you clamp your camera onto it and you move it but example what you could do and i showed you guys last week i could use my ball joint again screw my ball joint onto that and then i can now put my camera on top which i left somewhere else but you get the drift i put my camera onto here and i could just basically control it through this and then that will basically be my tripod system so you can definitely get some really good tripods out there there are some cheaper brands but i always advise people when you are going down a cheaper brand route just make sure it's a fairly decent one especially make sure it comes with a fluid head tripod or you can go for a ball joint tripod and um, so definitely tripods i can't stress the importance of tripod systems um, I hope that was a good tip for you guys and I will see you guys next week. Stay blessed.